Welcome back to part two of this series on hemiacetals and acetals. We ended off answering questions one through three and we have question four to complete, which reads, draw the condensed structural formula for the acetal formed when methanol adds the butanone. Now when it comes to forming acetals, it's usually a two-step process where a hemiacetal is formed first and then an acetal second. So we'll begin by drawing out what these molecules look like, methanol and butanone. Methanol looks like this, as we learned in question three. And butanone is a four carbon chain. It is a ketone because it ends with O-N-E, but there's no number in front of the word. So where will we put the carbonyl group? Well, first let's draw butane. Butane looks like this. Butanone means that we'll have a carbonyl group somewhere. And since there's no number at the front, we can't put it here because that would suggest we need another carbon. That means we have to put it on the second carbon. So we put the double bonded oxygen here and we remove the two hydrogens. That right there is butanone. So we'll be adding these two together and the product will be this carbonyl group disappears. So rather than this double bonded oxygen, it becomes a single bond. So that becomes a single bond leaving oxygen with one free orbital and it can make a bond with the hydrogen. So we'll make a bond with the hydrogen. Let me show you what I mean so we don't get confused. So there's no more double bond. It's a single bond. And this carbon is free to make another bond with something else, which is the rest of the molecule. The rest of the molecule will be the alkoxy group. This is a hemiacetal because it has one alkoxy group and the carbon is bonded to a hydroxyl. So this is a hemiacetal. The next step is to add more methanol. So we're adding more CH3OH. And what this will do is take away this hydrogen from this oxygen and form another alkoxy group. So we'll have something like this. Let me show you. And you're probably wondering if this is responsible for that bond, what about the OH? Well, the OH and the hydrogen from this oxygen form a byproduct of H2O, water. Those right there are the final two products and the acetal that's formed. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or visit our website at biology-forums.com. Thanks for watching.